evening. You are watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. First, the headlines. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos issues six royal decrees. The Financial Affairs and Energy Resources Council reviews the initial financial estimation for the next three years and the updates of the National Initiative for Solar Energy. The International Conference on Judicial Protection of Intellectual Property and Sustainable Economic Development discusses the role of intellectual property in the economic development. And the public prosecution announces decrease in cases during 2018. Those were the headlines. Now for the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos issued six royal decrees. Royal Decree number 26 over 2019 on amendments of some provisions of the law on the state's documents classification and organization of protected areas. Article number one. The attached amendments shall be conducted on the aforementioned law. Article number two, cancels all that contradict with the attached amendments or contravenes with their provisions. Article number three, this decree shall be published in the official gazette and comes into force from the following day of its issue. Royal decree number 27 over 2019 regarding scientific and other specialized areas. Article number one, the scientific areas of the research council or any other scientific or specialized areas shall be established after the approval of the council of ministers and establishments and companies working in these areas shall enjoy exemptions, incentives and facilities stipulated in the attached annex. Article number two, cancels all that contradict with this decree and its attached annex or contravenes with their provisions. Article number three, this decree shall be published in the official gazette and comes into force from the following day of its issue. Royal decree number 28 over 2019 on ratifying Paris agreement. Article number one, approves the aforementioned agreement as per the attached text. Article number two, the bodies concerned shall lodge instrument or ratification according to its provisions. Article number three, this decree shall be published in the official gazette and comes into force from the date of its issue. Royal decree number 29 over 2019 on appointing members of the Omani Human Rights Commission. Article number one, the following names shall be appointed as representatives of the bodies stipulated in the first article of the attached annex to Royal Decree number 124 over 2008 as members in the Omani Human Rights Commission as follows. Honorable Sheikh Abdullah bin Shwain bin Amir al Hosni as Chairman. Dr. Sleiman bin Hamad bin Saif al Alawi as Deputy Chairman. Khalid bin Yahya bin Muhammad al Farai, Dr. Sheikh Shihab bin Ahmed bin Ali al Jabri, Saeed bin Salim bin al Shain al Nu'mani, Muhammad bin Ahmed bin Muhammad al Rawahi, Sleiman bin Abdullah bin Saeed al Wahabi, Labiba bin Muhammad bin Hamad al Ma'waliya, Ahmed bin Abdullah bin Muhsin al Shamfari, Aida bin Chamis bin Zaid al Hashimiya, Maymuna bin Tisaid bin Rashid al Sulaymaniya, Yasser bin Saeed bin Hamdan al Dhihli, Hilal bin Saeed bin Hamad al Shaydani, Hamoud bin Salim bin Abdullah Snedi. Article number two This decree shall be published in the official gazette and comes into force from the date of its issue. Royal Decree number 30 over 2019 on appointing non-resident ambassador. 
Article number one. Sheikh Dr. Ghazi bin Said bin Abdullah al Bahar al Rawas, Sultanate's ambassador to France, shall be appointed to be extraordinary plenipotentiary and non resident ambassador to Portugal. Article number two. The royal decree shall be published in the official gazette and comes into effect from the date of its issue. Royal Decree number 31 over 2019 on the establishment of the primary court in the Wilaya of Al Amirat. Article number one. The primary court shall be established in the Wilaya of Al Amirat and the court's venue and jurisdiction shall be determined by the decision from the chairman of the Council of Administrative Affairs for Judiciary. Article number two, this decree shall be published in the official gazette and comes into effect from the 1st of October, 2018. Reports related to the study of global inflation on prices in the Sultanate and updates of National Initiative for Solar Energy top the discussions of the Council of Financial Affairs and Energy Rescues on its second meeting this year. The Council also discussed a visual show on the initial financial estimation for the coming three years, which targeted achieving balance between revenues, expenditures and procedures through taking a number of precautionary. The meeting reviewed two reports on the initial closing of the final account of the state for previous year, in addition to the performance of State General Reserve Fund at 2018. The meeting was chaired by His Excellency Darwish bin Ismail al Blushi, Minister Responsible for Financial Affairs, Deputy Chairman of the Financial Affairs and Energy Resources Council. His Excellency Dr. Yahya bin Mahfoud al Mandari, Chairman of the State Council, expressed his aspiration to develop bilateral cooperation between the Sultanate and Poland within promised horizons to enhance them at economy, commercial, scientific, and legislative fields. This came while His Excellency received Polish delegation from Friendship Committee between the State Council and Polish Senate Council which is chaired by Senator Michal Seferinski, which hailed the Sultanate's efforts to preserve stability in the region and contribute in protecting international security and peace according to wise foreign policy. The meeting reviewed aspects of joint cooperation between both countries and stressing on the role of exchange visits in developing bilateral relations in addition to exchange viewpoints on a number of regional and international mutual concern issues. The Friendship Committee between the, South, the State Council and Polish Senate Council held an official discussion session. The session reviewed relations which connect between the Sultanate and Poland and means that support aspects of cooperation between them at various fields. The session was chaired from the Omani side by Honorable Salim bin Ismail Swed and Senator Michał Seferenski, Chairman of the Polish side. His Excellency Engineer Mohammed Abu Bakr Al Ghassani, Deputy Chairman of Shura Council, met Senator Michał Seferenski, Chairman of the Polish side of the Omani Poland Friendship Parliamentary Committee. The meeting discussed enhancing joint cooperation between both councils in various parliamentary and economic fields in addition to exchange experience to enhance work of legislation and monitoring councils. Judicial protection in the Sultanate's law and challenges facing it top discussions of the International Conference on Judicial Protection of Intellectual Property and Sustainable Economic Development. The conference, which is organized by the Council of Administrative Affairs for the Judiciary, discusses the role of intellectual property in economic development. The conference shed light on the Omani laws related to intellectual property. It as well focused on administrative, criminal, and civilian judiciary which is meant for protecting intellectual property. 
The conference affirmed on the Sultanate cooperation with world intellectual property as the Sultanate came first Arab-wise in the Legislations and Intellectual Property Protection Index. The conference was held under the auspices of His Excellency Sayyid Ahmoud bin Faisal Boussaid, the Minister of Interior. Public prosecution in a press conference announced that it recorded decrease of the cases percentage last year. In 2018, the prosecution dealt with more than 27,000 cases. During the press conference, it discussed the statistics and indices of the cases forwarded to public prosecution. The press conference covered various topics, namely development witnessed by public prosecution in the last period, progress in its work systems, continuous training and qualification besides effort exerted in the forwarded cases. The event also shed light on specialized administration established last year, namely administrations for cases of traffic workers, drugs and consumer protection. The Sultanate will host the 21st International Table Tennis Federation World Veteran Championship in 2022 after the Sultanate bid was successfully accepted and approved by the International Table Tennis Federation during the annual general meeting in Budapest on April 23rd. Oman's delegation, chaired by Abdullah bin Khalif, chairman of the Oman Table Tennis Committee, affirmed on the importance of organizing such international events by Oman. Still to come on news bulletin. Oman College for Health Science and South Sharqiyya Governorate celebrates launching of four graduation projects. Public Authority for Investment Promotion and Export Development, ITRA, organized the 8th edition of Economic Evenings. These evenings are one of the initiatives that is organized by ITRA annually. The evenings reviewed future investment perspective in the Sultanate and supporting national talents. ITRA and its evenings focused on investment sector and attracting foreign investments as this sector is considered one of the main pillars of the Sultanate vision to achieve economic diversification and reduce dependency on oil. The economic evenings also focus on challenges facing investment sector in the Sultanate and the importance of supporting national capabilities and empowering them in various fields. They hosted a number of chief executive officers from public and private sectors and highlighted the economic potentials of the Sultanate and how to promote for these potentials in the regional and international levels. With the participation of specialists and researchers in the field of banking and business, the activities of the International Conference of Banking, Finance and Business started in the Governorate of Muscat. The conference highlighted the issues related to the opportunities, challenges and global practices relevant to the development of banking and financial sector, macro and micro economy and business practices. It provided a forum to the academics and scholarly experts and practitioners to share their knowledge, research and experiences for the development of banking and finance, economics and business. His Excellency Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasr al-Bakri, Minister of Manpower, presided over the opening ceremony of the conference. The Sultanate hosted the 87th meeting of the Gulf Health Council, which will last for two days in Al-Jabal Al-Aghdar in the Zakhaliya Governorate. Our reporter Saleh bin Khalfan al-Rahbi has more details on the following report. Chronic Disease, Gulf Center for Cancer Control, Central Drug Registry and Registration of Medical Devices topped the discussions of the 87th meeting of the Gulf Health Council, which is hosted by the Sultanate 
in Al Jabal Al Akhdar in the Dakhliya Governorate. The importance of this meeting is to come to collect all the most of the decision maker from the GCC countries to discuss most of the programs conducted by the Gulf Health Council. Uh, our main uh, our uh, main programs which conducted is the group purchasing plus the center registration for the medical device and pharmaceutical plus the expedited medical checkup. In addition, today uh, we have new things that we're going to invite uh, from uh, WHO uh, experts to present. Uh, uh, about uh, new programs will be introduced for all the GCC countries to, to, to conduct a study about the uh, cost impact of the NCD, non-communicable diseases. Several topics and programs concerning expatriate checkups, joint procurement and pricing of medicines are also highlighted at the meeting. There will be a recommendation will be raised to the, uh, the ministers of health. Uh, the meeting of the Minister of Health will be on 30th, uh, 30th of October during uh, this year, and the recommendation will be raised specifically for the uh, tackling the NCD and the uh, research among GCC. Speci specifically, we are uh, 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 receiving today some of the recommendations of the WHO, and we are going to discuss of the uh, recommendation WHO uh, about the NCD, communicable disease, and uh, leadership program. Over a period of two days, the meeting will address a number of issues related to the Council's initiatives as well as several financial and administrative issues. The 87th meeting of the GCC Health Council will also shed light on the activities adopted by the technical committees in order to enhance the progress in all areas of action related to the health sector. From Al Jabal Al Akhdar, Saleh Mukhalfan Al Rahbi, Al Dakhiliya, Governorate. The Ministry of Tourism discussed detailed plans for tourism development on the governorates of South Sharqiyah and Al Dakhliya within the framework of its programs to review the stages of tourism development plans for the Sultanas governorates, which were commissioned by international companies specialized in the field of tourism in order to prepare tourist plans. His Excellency Ahmed bin Nasser Limharzi, Minister of Tourism, presided over the meeting. Oman College of Health Sciences in South Sharqiya Governorate celebrated the launch of four graduation projects. The projects focused on breast cancer, self-diagnosis, and electronic games addiction. More details on the following report by Sultan bin Sif Sarai. Graduation projects are the most important task for students because it's the last stop before they graduate. Therefore, Students usually put massive efforts to come up with great ideas that could be implemented in real life to help people. This is exactly what the students of Oman College for Health Science in South Ash-Sharqiyah Governorate did. Four projects were chosen to be translated into reality, where two of them have got copyrights. One is about breast cancer self-diagnosis, as part of the national campaign of breast cancer self-diagnosis. As we said from statistics that breast cancer, in, especially in Oman, it was too much raising in the last 2015. Because of that, we are trying to reduce this uh, statistic by training the women, by uh, give them some information to be detection and to reduce, as I said, the statistics. Play safer and healthier is the title of the second project, which focuses on healthy electronic gaming, and it aims to aware about the danger and addiction of those games. We choose a trending topic, which is electronic games, use and abuse, uh, play healthier and safer, uh, because electronic games become a large and a growing part of our culture. For that, we are proposing a campaign that is designed to create an awareness among the young adult gamers to help them uh, on how to play electronic games in a healthier and safer way. The final year students of Oman College for Health Science in South Asharqiyah Governorate are presenting their graduation projects in two significant topics, which are breast cancer and electronic games. Sultan bin Saif Sarai from Wilaya of Sur, South Asharqiya Governorate. Now for the general weather forecast around the Sultanate. 
clear skies will prevail over most of the governorates with chances of low clouds and fog late at night and early morning over the coasts of the Arabian Sea. Winds will be southeasterly to south light to moderate. Seas will be slight with a maximum wave height of 1.25 meters. This is the Salt Tunnel of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's news bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos issues six royal decrees. The Financial Affairs and Energy Resources Council reviews the initial financial estimation for the next three years and the updates of the National Initiative for Solar Energy. The International Conference on Judicial Protection of Intellectual Property and Sustainable Economic Development discusses the role of intellectual property in the economic development. And the public prosecution announces decrease in cases during 2018. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the newsroom and the studios, thank you for watching and have a good night.